Peanut butter. Smooth for preference. Guard. Help! Help! Oh. Hi, boss. How about a bottle of beer? Let me share a dilemma with you. May I? I need you to do something for me that I know you won't want to do. What is it? With most people, there is no problem. I find their weak spots and use violence or blackmail to persuade them. But you, you are a man of monkish virtue. You have no vices to expose. So threats of personal violence will only harden your resolve, huh? No, that. Come, sir, don't be modest. You are a rare animal. But that does lead us to the sad pickle. Since I can't persuade you to do as I ask, the only rational option is to kill you and negotiate with whomever replaces you as commissioner. Even if you do as I ask, someday down the line, you'll change your mind and you'll turn on him again. You want to kill him now? No, make him a nice cheese toasty. Yes, kill him now, please. Just wanted to be clear. No, wait! Let's talk about this. Sorry. Least worst option. Unless, of course, no, you would never agree. To what? Agree to what? Mr. Cobblepot, finally we meet. Call me Penguin. I thought I heard you hated that name. It grew on me. Penguin it is. Please, sit. How's your head? Oh, healing, thank you. <laughs> Gave me quite a scare. You were lucky to get out of there with your life. Wasn't I just? <laughs> Was it luck? You are a clever man. My sister tells me you're doing a stellar job of organizing your new empire. I try. Huh. You're not the king of Gotham. You're the king of garbage. A year ago, I held Fish Mooney's umbrella. Now she's dead by my hand, along with Maroney. Falcone is in hiding, and all of their businesses are mine. They all underestimated me. I suggest you not make the same mistake. My you, Penguin. You will be my destroyer. <laughs> Truly, I'm flattered. Thank you so much for thinking of me. But, my dear sir, you have me all wrong. I have no flair for destruction. I'm a builder, a problem solver. Besides, such a huge project would need the support of hundreds of city officials. Yes. Before you leave, my sister would love to show you her favorite reality show. She's addicted. <laughs> mm, she's being kind of dull right now, but sometimes she cries and bangs on the door. Mother. You'll pay for this. <laughs> That's the spirit. I can see what you are. How did you get in? I know it's late, but I'm afraid there's no time for delay. Someone tried to kill Theo Galvan this morning. Are you here to kill me? Actually, yes. Please. No. I'm a mother. Wait! I have a mother, too. The cops just hit the count house. They took everything, every dollar. Did you enjoy giving me that news? But I have an idea. Have a drink, Butch.
<laughs> Your conditioning is still working nicely, hmm? <laughs> you can't refuse me. <laughs> You're the only man I can truly trust right now. You're starting to sound a little paranoid, boss. <laughs> This is a blood feud for Galavan. He wants revenge against the Wayans. He's acting out of emotion, and that can be manipulated. Have another drink. You are going to go to Galavan. You're going to tell him I went nuts, and that I accused you of setting up the count shop raid. You are in fear for your life, and you need a job. Got that? Yes, boss. How do we sell it? I already sold him my paranoia, but you're the closer. How do we sell you? How do we make him trust and feel for you? I wasn't sure. <laughs> but then Celestine and Caleb told me how. How? Hello, sleepyhead. Where am I? Rapid movement and elevated heart rate are counterproductive to the healing process. Apologies in advance. I light another candle to dry the tears from my face. Why are you playing a song? When I was young, my mother would sing that song to me when I was going to bed. And every time, she would tell me, Oswald. Don't listen to the other children. You're handsome and clever, and someday you will be a great man. I feel gratitude, and do you know why? No, and I don't care. This little visit is over. I will just simply bid you adieu. Mr. Penguin, for some men, Love is a source of strength, but for you and I, it will always be our most crippling weakness. Move aside. Ed, we are better off unencumbered. A man with nothing that he loves is a man that cannot be bargained. A man that cannot be betrayed. A man who answers to no one but himself. And that is the man that I see before me. Free man. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, Jim. <laughs> Lucky for you, Gabe had people following Galavan. Now, where is he? Where's Galavan? Tell me, where is Galavan? Forget that this man sicked Barbara Keen on you. Forget that he nearly killed the mother of your child. Forget revenge. Think of the greater good. Think of Gotham. He has the courts in his pocket and billions of dollars at his command. Are you 100% sure that he won't beat this and walk free again? Are you sure, Jim? Think of Gotham. Captain Bravo Keen in the vicinity of the penthouse. But think fast. Kill me, please. No! That's enough. <laughs> 
Keep talking. I took Galavan to the river and I killed him. Slowly. You confess to murder? Yes, I do. Proud of it. I'm not a criminal, you know. I'm just insane. What did James Gordon do? What did he do when? What did he do after you knocked me out? What does he say he did? I'm asking you. Oswald Cobblepot. I'm king of Gotham. I am king of Gotham! <laughs> I am the king of Gotham! Please. This is a pillow fight compared to what I've been through. Yes, I have read of your tribulations of late. Attempts on your life? Having to survive being a fugitive? The death of your mother. And don't worry. Here at Arkham, we have a number of intensive treatment programs. I am more than confident that we'll be able to facilitate your rehabilitation. In my what? Rehabilitation. That's why you're here, after all. To be cured of your sickness. You are sick, aren't you? <laughs> right? Nigel. <laughs> Say no evil. Do no evil. <laughs> Say no evil. Do no evil. <laughs> no. Say no evil. Do no evil. <laughs> Let me go, you brutes. I want to speak to Professor Strange. Director Strange is very busy today. But rest assured, nothing happens at Arkham, not according to his wishes. What is this thing? What are you doing to me? You're to be the face of our rehabilitation program. If we can cure a man like Oswald Cobblepot, we can cure anyone. I refuse. I refuse to be part of your program. You to participate in group, Mr. Cobblepot. You should try. Yes. Yes, I, I, I am glad to. What is it they want me to do? Be the goose. So special, 
so clever, so handsome. When you are older, with a stick, we will beat away the women. But only if you eat your goulash, so you can grow big and strong. <laughs> Are you a vice man? I'm sure I don't know. It's unusual, isn't it? My name's Oswald. What's yours? I don't have ice cream. Why do you have ice cream? Please, by all means, you can... to be nice, okay? There's no ice cream in here, so there's no reason to get mad, okay? Promise? Okay. I declared sane. I'm sane? You are as sane and normal as any other citizen. Miss Peabody, even. Do you know what that means? No more therapy. Oswald, you are a free man. Thank you, Professor Shay Hugo. <laughs> For being such a kind mentor and friend. That's very touching, Oswald. Thank you so much. And now, why don't you go back to your room and get your belongings together? Okay. <laughs> and stupid game, but at least it makes sense. Son of a... Hi. Well, well, well. I heard they let you out of Arkham. Yes. Happy day. <laughs> I'm sane. I have a certificate. <laughs> Whoa. Uh... Oswald. Oswald. Save me. <laughs> that does sound like her. <laughs> you know, I think he's for real. His loony bin doctors must have done a real number on him. Actually, kind of sad. Let him go. What? You heard me. Look at him, he's a pathetic loser. He doesn't pose a threat to anyone. I'm so sorry I couldn't be here for the funeral. But I think he would be proud of me. I'm a changed man. I'm sorry. I, how did you know my mother? How exactly? old are you? Excuse me? How old are you? Gertrude Love. Uh, 31. 31 years ago, yes. That's right. Oh, my God, she. She never told me. Told you what? That I had a son. My father became an apprentice like every son before him. You were an apprentice too? I was. Had rather a flair for it. But it was not to be. When my father succumbed to illness, 
My mother held me close to her. Homeschooled me. She felt a need to protect me from the temptations of the city. I was not always a good son, and she never spoke a word of reproach. Not always a good son? I find that hard to credit. A nice young man like you. Believe me, I've done bad things. We're all sinners, my boy. I want in. In? We could do great things, you and me. I suppose I If you and me work together, we could have it all. We could squeeze my mom and brother out. Why would we do that? I don't know. I guess we're just a couple of crazy, mixed up kids. Restrain yourself, woman. I'm practically your brother. What are you thinking? <laughs> I was a criminal. I've done horrible things. <laughs> Hurt people, manipulated, lied for power, for revenge. I've killed people, Father. Our lives together started the moment I met you at the cemetery. Nothing before that concerns me. I forgive you for all your past transgressions. Be free of them and live here in peace. My father was never physically ill. He only suffered a deep melancholy. He was plagued by dark impulses, evil thoughts of violence. Mother said many in his family had the same affliction. I remember the sound of the gunshot. I was outside his room. I screamed for my mother to get the key. Never give in to the pain as he did. You are loved, and you are not alone. And the sun will come up tomorrow. No, I feel like a drink. <laughs> but, but your health. To hell with that. <laughs> Elijah! Oh. Mm. Mm. Did, he, did he drink that? Mm. Yes. Why? Why? He's not supposed to. Sasha, call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, Father. Help us on the way. Father, I only knew you a short time. But you came to me when I was alone in this cold, dark world. You gave me a family. I will never forget you. As long as I live. Oh, Father. I do. Please. My father was all that I had. We share the same blood. And, and he wanted us to be together. He told me. Let me stay. I'll do anything. You are his blood. We do need help around the house. Mother, <laughs> why waste good money on servants when we have Oswald? I'll do anything. Well, you can start. Don't forget the cherries, Oswald. Oh, right. Cherries. 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 cherries.
Oswald! What's wrong with him? Who knows? Mother wants a roast. And make it good this time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Try the other joint. It is much more tender. It's the same. Still beats my slut mother's goulash, no? Where are the children? Ring the bell again. Hmm. I doubt they'll hear it. The way. Guess you're a little too mean to waste good poison, huh? <laughs> Don't go. Charles! Sasha, help! They won't come. Where are they? You thought they tasted the same. But Sasha! <clears throat> no. Definitely no. more tender. No. No. In my opinion. No. no! My last one got stuck in your throat, so I'm thinking about shoving this one somewhere else. Jim, a little tip for next time. Always bring the right tools for the job. See you in hell, Theo. You did a very bad thing to me, and now you're going to pay. <laughs> Impossible. Nothing is impossible.